in the previous video, we have unboxed the SK19. We went over all its features and as you can see, I already mounted a very beautiful Element Optics Helix to this nice gun to get a nice scope on this uh, beautiful gun. There are two more very important things I always like to do to a new gun that I own and that is one, to clean the barrel and two, set it up to shoot a particular pellet at a particular speed. Why to clean the barrel on your brand new gun? Most of those barrels, they have some residue inside from the manufacturing process, like oils and chemicals and stuff like this. Or they have a protective coating on the inside, so when those uh, guns get shipped, sometimes by boat, or they're in a magazine for a while, the barrels are protected uh, for corrosion and they don't rust when they are out there. So we have to take out the barrel, give it a good clean to get this accuracy on paper that we are looking for. Second thing, setting up. Uh, the gun to shoot a particular pellet, this time the JSB Monster redesigns 25 grain, 22 caliber pellet and I believe the SK19 has plenty of power to shoot them accurately at a decent speed. Looking at the SK19 you can already see just one problem for cleaning the barrel and that is this fixed magazine. The magazine is fixed, we can take it out so you don't have access to the breech to uh, clean your barrel, barrel while it's mounted to the gun. So there is only one option and that's to take the barrel out of course. That is very easily done with two screws that we have here on this side. Just loosen them a little bit and we can twist out the barrel. Reinstalling it, we'll also go over that, is uh, something to be aware of. That when we put it in, it has just a small amount of play between the magazine and the barrel. And if you put it in too far, the magazine will jam and it won't rotate. But we'll uh, go over that in just a second. So. Let's take out that barrel, shall we? So, let's just unscrew the moderator like this. Slide off the shroud. Then we take in a four millimeter Allen key. Move this one around maybe. And we're gonna undo the two screws you see here. They can be very stiff in the beginning by mine and I have put a little bit of grease behind them so it's easier to undo them. So be very gentle if yours are very snug so you don't break off the heads. Second thing, simply unscrew your barrel. And slide it all the way out. Very heavy, Lothar Walter barrel, very good for accuracy of course. Let's put this one to the side for a second. And there you have it, very easily now to clean it, you can clamp it in a vise. What I usually do is, I have a, a pull through that I uh, guide all the way through. I have some patches uh, that I drained in uh, some ballistol oil. The first few passes will be wet ones. And uh, you can see here, those are the patches that I used. And actually, I, must, I was amazed, the barrel was very clean when it came to me. And I used only a few extra ones just to wipe out uh, the wet ballistol till it was clean and all the patches came out clean, as you can see here. That was my last one, I think. Looks like it didn't even uh, went through the barrel. Once you're happy and your barrel is clean, it is very simple. You put all your stuff to the side, of course. You take your SK-19 back. You see the difference between the two sides. This is where your moderator screws on. That's the part that goes into the receiver. Slide it in to the back. Screw it in. Very lightly until it makes contact with your magazine. And then just to make sure your magazine keeps rotating. You put your lever up here to the middle position. So your magazine uh, rotates freely. And as you can see, it's already quite stiff. This is because I screwed in the barrel all the way back and the end of the barrel makes contact with this magazine. And this should not be like this because when you shoot, the magazine won't cycle. So you twist it off just slightly, still makes contact. Just a little bit more and you have to get a feel for it so you don't feel that the barrel is touching 
the magazine. This is too far, a little bit back. Like this should be the sweet spot. And at this point, where is my Allen key? You can snug up those two screws again. Do them one by one. Make sure, because sometimes still rotates. Perfect. And snug them up all the way. Make sure they're tight, but of course, make sure they're not too tight. Keep checking if your magazine still rotates. If you take out your barrel too far from the magazine, a blast of air will escape between the magazine and your barrel. And that's of course not the ideal situation and that's not what you want. So put that lever back down. Put a trout on top of it. The moderator goes on to the end. If your screws are not 100% tight and you tighten up your moderator, it is possible you slightly turn your uh, barrel and it makes contact again with the magazine. So you can double check again. Mine is perfect. And that's how easy it is to take the barrel in and back out or to take the barrel out and put it back in, of course. So next up, let's tune it for velocity, shall we? So to start a tune, we're going to tune the SK19 with some JSB uh, Jumbo Monsters, 25 grains in 22 caliber. The SK19 more than capable enough to push them at the proper speed. When I took a look at the uh, LCS website, they advertise that at full power, which is about uh, 1000 feet per second, you get about 30 to 40 good shots. And when you tune it to 860 feet per second, you should be able to get about 100 shots out of one fill. So we're going to go for the uh, economic way. We're going to tune them for 860 feet per second. But first, we'll have to load them up. Open the latch you see here on the side. Take your lever, set it out like this in the middle position to free up the rotation of the magazine. And all you have to do is push your 19 pellets in from the side here. One good tip, of course, push them in all the way so the skirts don't stick out when you rotate the magazine and you don't damage the skirts of the pallets, of course. Just one more. Once your magazine is filled with 19 shots, close the hatch, put the lever back down. Now, one very important thing, this lever, always make sure you have enough air in your gun when you manipulate this lever, otherwise, it can flip all the way up and it gets jammed and you have to go through a small procedure to get it back down, of course. Next, I will hook up my uh, chronograph. This one is a FX chronograph, very handy tool for tuning. Put it on the end of your barrel. And then next, I open the app on my phone. Put the chronograph on. It is already connected. Let's erase the memory. Now, as mentioned before, always make sure your regulator is set between 140 and 150 bar. Although we have an adjustable regulator, it is not to be touched actually. Just make sure your gun is between 140 to 150 bar to make sure you don't run out of uh, air, of course, when you shoot. Never shoot below the 140 bar, otherwise you can jam up your system in the back. Another thing is, make sure you don't go too low on the FPS. I think the bottom line is about 650 feet per second, but take 700 to be sure. Otherwise, you also uh, run into the risk of jamming up um, your uh, part here at the back. So, I haven't touched the gun yet. This is how it comes from the factory. Um, make sure you have enough air, just above 200 bar. Regulator is set to about 135, 140. Safety is off, it's in semi. And let's see what the first shot brings, of course. Nine hundred and twenty-one. Just make sure 
I have the audio on, otherwise don't hear anything. 921, pretty fast, coming from the factory like this. Nine twenty six. All right, let's bring it a little bit down. I'm already surprised. Twenty five grains at nine hundred and twenty six feet per second. Pretty, pretty hot. One more thing: the sound you hear. I'm sitting here in my basement in my small uh, studio slash gun room. So the sound you hear probably a little bit uh, overreacted. When you will shoot it outside, it will be a lot uh, quieter, of course. So let's go uh, two clicks. Uh, clockwise to decrease it. One, two, and let's see where we're at. 942. Always a bit confusing. It seems I uh, went the wrong way. So when you look at it from the top of your gun, when you have it like this, uh, let's go counterclockwise then. One, two, that should bring us back to the 920. And another two. Let's see. 886. So when you look at your gun, counterclockwise, decrease it. Clockwise, when you look from the top like this, is to increase. So uh, where are we at? 986, which is actually a pretty nice number. But let's go to the 860 they advertise on their website. One click maybe. 886. Still 886, maybe one more. 865. 868. 868. 877. Okay, jumped a little bit. 854. A little bit of a spread. 868. Didn't seem to register. 865. So it seems to be around 865. I'm going to leave it at that, which is a pretty nice number. As you could see, just a few clicks. We went from 920 to 865. Pretty awesome. Um, what I'm going to do, let's see. I still have some 18 grains here, just to see what the velocity will be with the 18 grains. Let's just dump the magazine full. Uh, Full fashion style. 42. Magazine empty. Let's quickly put the redesigns to the sides. Open up the lever. Let me quickly fill it up with some 18 grains and see what the velocity will be at this setting, of course. And the last one. Put the head down. Put the lever down. I also quickly filled it up with air again to make sure that we're not running lower than this 140 bar. So let's see, these are uh, the 18 grains, they're just a little bit lighter, a little bit actually, they're about 7 grains lighter than the monsters. So let's see what velocity we get out of this, of course. 993. Whew, 993, just those few grains lighter. 990. 993. Dropping a little bit. 990. 990. So just changing out the pellets, we're going from 865 to 870 to 990 feet per second. With some 18 grains you get a wide variety probably if you want to tune them for the 18 grains and you turn it all the way back to 880 feet per second which should be a very nice velocity for those 18 grains you will get a whole bunch more shots out of the sk19 which you're probably going to need if you pull it in full auto the magazines will fly like nothing so also the pellets will go very fast right that's it for the tuning as you can see Tuning the SK-19, probably the most easy tune uh, you will ever do on an aircon. Just with a few clicks you have a big variety to go through in velocity and range. Two things to make sure, just make sure you have enough air in your gun when you flip up the lever 
to rotate the magazine. Never go below the 140 bar, like watch is the uh, regulated pressure. And you will have a lot of fun with this gun, as you can see. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. You found it useful how to take out the barrel and reinsert it on the SK-19. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you back in the next one. Bye.